Hello everyone and welcome to Alejandro HD. Uh, today I wanted to do a slightly different video uh, as I've been doing the last few videos. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we found out that Scotland has went back into full lockdown as of tonight, as of midnight. And uh, yeah, sucks. It's interesting. It's an interesting thing. I, I've been dabbling about wanting to talk about this for quite a while because it's a it's a massive subject. It's affecting the whole world, you know. One thing I wanted to talk about is what I would do if I was in charge. Um, you know, I think a lot of people have their own opinions on what they want to do, you know, be it. Um, I saw some people want to do, like, police searches, uh, mm -hmm. fines on the spot, fines and all that sort of stuff. But I think it's a lot more simple than that. I think, as an island nation, we're quite lucky to have, um, to be in an island. Um, you know, we could we could easily close the borders down. Um, or not close the borders, but more like close down like air travel, holidays, things like that. Obviously keep the food and everything coming in. Like, that would be fine. But, you know, if we'd maybe done that at the start, that could have maybe drastically increased it, reduced the risk of getting it from people from overseas. So that's one thing I would say. Another thing I would I would say to try and prevent this would be like, what they're doing is, with the vaccine is, is a hope. I think they're trying to get to the most vulnerable people in society first and like old age pensioners and stuff, which I think is great. Uh, which I think is, is something that needs to be done um, before like healthy people or before young people. Um, because of course that's, you know, preserving the elderly and preserving the, the vulnerable people when it comes to like such a virus like that is important. What I would suggest is because of how damaged the economy is being and how damaged like hospitality and small businesses are are like they should they shouldn't close down everything. Uh, I think they should keep everything open, but like ensure that the people that are that need to be quarantined and need that need to have isolation are isolated and have the most appropriate measures, like have like you know home carers or something like that, and making sure that they get, like, provisions, food, and, and all that sort of stuff. I think that, that would be a good thing. And then, at least then, people that are, people that are, you know, happy to take the risk should be allowed out, should be able to, to go around doing their day-to-day -day things, because I think another thing, for me anyway, um, it's affected, well, I think it's affected people's moods, like, mental health, things like that, like, even simple things like going out for something to eat at a restaurant, or going to, for a drink, or going to the pub, uh, going to the cinema, or you know all these things. Like you can't do that, and you know it's. I think when when it first kicked off, it was like two weeks. Ah, two weeks. Two weeks is fine. I mean, that's why I remember like people saying oh, it'll be over in two weeks, and here we are, like two thousand and twenty-one, eight, like. So many months later, I can't even think of exactly how many months. I haven't been back to work properly since March. So, yeah. I mean, I know some people were furloughed. Some people lost their jobs. Some people are, like, working from home full time now because of it. Some people some people are doing fine. Some people are just going to work like normal. But then that's the other problem. Like, people that are going to work and doing normal day-to-day -day things, like, that's you know, going to be affecting them as well. Like their pals, they can't see, you know, they're doing most of the things themselves. And then, you know, it's, oh well, yeah, just rambling on a wee bit there. But yeah, it's rubbish. And I hope everyone is doing well, keeping safe, doing all that, you know, hand sanitizing, face masks, uh, going to the shop only when you need to. I just, just really wish that we could get some headway on this thing. Like, it's affecting schools as well, people, like, kids in the, in the high school and and people not being able to afford childcare and, you know, the, the ones that have got, like, the essential jobs and then the people that don't have the essential jobs and, you know, having to homeschool and a lot of them 
a lot of problems come from that and people's educations are suffering people's lifestyles are suffering so yeah if only we could find some but I mean hopefully the, when the vaccine comes in properly I mean they, they say that they're going to vaccinate 2 million folk like, 2 million people is fine but we've got a population of 64 million so are you going to vaccinate, vaccinate everyone I mean that's going to take a hell of a lot of time and it's going to cost a lot of money and getting the vaccinations out is going to be a right nightmare or are you just going to do it to the vulnerable folk and let everyone else sort of make their own mind up if they want to go and get one or you know there's a lot there's a lot of questions and a lot of politicians don't have the answers to them and fair enough i don't think anyone's ever been in a position like this before where they can say well nobody's been in a position like this before so nobody can really have a direct answer it's all new to everyone really um so yeah so my things i would like i said at the start of the video i would close down the airports uh, vaccinate the, the elderly people and um, the vulnerable people put them in quarantine and let everyone else get on with it. Not, as I'm not trying to say, oh, I, I'd want everyone, I, I'd want those people to be isolated. I mean, absolutely not. Like, that's the worst thing, I think, for a vulnerable person or an older person to be in. Like, you know, they need human contact. Like, as humans, we're very sociable creatures. So, you know, it's a shame that, that these like, people are suffering from that. So hopefully, you know, I mean, if I, in my world, in my perfect world, I'd want, you know, people like carers or volunteers or something people that are willing to take a vi take a vaccine and then go and speak to them or, you know, just to look after them for the day. So that'd be a thing that I'd want. And I would just reopen all the hospitality stuff. Maybe do like a, like what they had with the Just Eat thing, the help to eat, help to buy, help to, help to eat to buy. I don't know. The thing that they, they give everyone a voucher for and then everyone went crazy for a few months back in like April, I think it was. And <laughs> I never even went out. Well, I did. I went out once. But yeah, I can't even remember if I'd done the done the deal now. Like all the days and the months and hours are all just strewn together. Like I just it's just so so weird. The whole world is weird. So yeah, so let me know in the comments what you would what you would suggest if you had any ideas you think I'm just rambling or Yeah, because I think this is this is something that should be talked about. It's a debate. It's a discussion. It's it's you know, you see a lot of people talk about anti vax. People that are like, you know, this is going to have some sort of conspiracy to keep us all in check and all that. I mean, that's a bit far-fetched for me. I think on something this, for a global scale, like a conspiracy theory sort of thing, such a large, it's in my bald head, such a large um, scale, uh I don't know what the word I'm looking for. You know, like a large scale sort of event. I don't think it's big. I think it's too big to be a conspiracy theory. I don't think there's like a, a group of men in the, like, you know, sitting somewhere around the desk being like, right, how are we going to ruin the world? <laughs> you know, because I think that's that's a little bit too much. But you never know. That'll be interesting to see what happens in the coming future. Uh, if you can hear any noise in the background, that is my washing machine. And that is on. So sorry if that's playing. I, I can't hear that. I'll... Uh, I'll listen to the video after, and if I hear a lot of distortion, then sorry. But yeah, just wanted to give my 10 cents on the matter. Keep safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.